In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a custom domain name and a custom TLS certificate for GoFish on AWS. Let's get right into this. So I have my GoFish instance here. And if you don't know how to set up GoFish on AWS, I'll leave a link to a step-by-step -step guide in the description below. You should check that out. So once you have GoFish set up, you can access this via your public IPv4 DNS on port 3636 so i have this open here and want to make this look nice i want to be able to access this with a custom domain name and that's the first thing we are going to set up here i have a domain name on namecheap hillbytes.store and the first thing i want to do is create a new record so i'll add an a record and we just want to grab our ipv4 address from our gofish instance and we want to put in at in the host field and we'll put in our IP address in the value field. So let's check this and save changes. And we'll just wait a few seconds so this can propagate and we'll be able to access GoFish from this domain name. We've waited a few minutes here. So let's try to access our GoFish via our custom domain name. I'll copy this and i'll paste this here with port 3636 i'll skip this and proceed let's log in and i'll copy my instance id as the password And we are logged in to GoFish with our custom domain name. So that's how to set up a custom domain name with GoFish. And the next thing we want to look at is setting up a TLS certificate. So the first thing we want to do is access GoFish via SSH. So to do that, we need to open our GoFish server via SSH. So head over to your instance and go to connect. Then copy this code here and make sure you have your um, SSH keys set up properly. Don't forget to watch the GoFish setup video. I'll leave a link to in the description below and that will teach you how to set all of these things up properly. So let's open our terminal and I'm going to paste this code in the location where my SSH key is. Let's hit enter. Put in yes. And we are in. So I want to um, change my user to the root user. So let's do sudo su and let's clear our screen. The next thing we want to do is remove the default GoFish certificates. So these certificates are in the opt directory. So let's navigate to opt. And if we ls in here we can see the default gofish certificate and key so i'll see the back and i'm just going to copy the command i have here to remove these two files so we want to get rid of this file and we want to delete the second file as well so i'll copy the command and paste that in here and we have those removed so the next thing we want to do is stop the GoFish service. So I'll copy the command for that. That's sudo system ctl stop GoFish. Let's hit enter on that. And after this, we want to install SoCat. So this is one of the requirements for Acme.sh, which we'll be installing after SoCat. So let's install SoCat. So we have SoCat installed and the next thing we need to do is install acme.sh. So I'll paste the command here and we want to change this to our email. This is the email we will receive certificate notifications. So I'll change this to my email. Then 
the next thing we need to do is use acme.sh to issue a new certificate for our domain. So I'll copy the command here. And I'll leave a link to all these commands in the description below. They're also available in the GoFish guide on AWS. So you should check that out. And I'll change this yourdomain.com to my domain, which is hillbytes.store. Hit enter. So we've issued a new certificate and we need to wait for about 30 seconds to one minute um, before we move on to the next step. And the next step will be to copy this certificate to our opt directory. So let's, I think we've waited long enough and I'll just copy the command for this. And we need to change this. So we are copying the certificates we just generated and we are renaming it as the gofish admin dot key the key we just generated and we'll do the same for the certificate as well so let's change this to our domain hill bytes dot store change this as well to hill bytes dot store and we need to copy the other file so we need to change this to hill bytes dot store and we are done with copying the relevant files and the next thing we need to do is update the permissions of these files. So I'll copy the command for that. And we'll do the same for the second file. Then after this, we need to restart the GoFish service to apply the new certificates. So the code is systemctl restart gofish and yeah let's give this some time let's check this status status and we have gofish running so let's go back to our custom domain name and i'll copy this let's load it in incognito and let's see what we have here so our connection is secure and we have a valid certificate installed on our gofish instance so that's how to do this that's how to install a custom domain name and certificates on your gofish instance i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something from this if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions about this leave them in the comments below and don't forget to also check out uh gofish on aws so check out gofish on aws for fast and easy fishing simulations and yeah that'll be all for this i hope you are doing well i'll see you in the next video bye